Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Excellent, Eva. I'm okay. How about you? ¿Cómo está, Eva? How are you? I am fine. Excellent. Thanks. Excellent. So happy to hear that. What about Angel? Hi, Angel. Good evening. Mm, your microphone is open, but I can't hear you, sir. Su micrófono está encendido, pero no se le escucha, right? Let me check if we have more students. Good evening, Arnoldo. How are you? How are you? I'm great. And you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> I'm good. The stress for the traffic, maybe? Estresado por el tráfico? No, no. Uh, estoy, incapa estoy incapacitado. Oh, no, sir. You're sick. Sí. Está enfermo, Arnoldo. Ok, I'm really sorry. Lo lamento mucho. Espero que se recupere pronto. Right? Ya, ya estamos. Gracias. Excellent. Very good. Let me check. We have... Hello, Angel. No, no, yet. Todavía no, Angel. No se le escucha. Bien extraño. Porque si tiene el micrófono open. Let's check those audios, everybody. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you, Carlos? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Very good to hear that. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you and to have you in class just in time, right? Very good. I'm so happy that you are just in time. Justo a tiempo, right? Nunca entran tarde. Excellent. So, Angel todavía no se le escucha, right? I'm just telling you, solo le aviso, right? Everybody, today we're going to work still in section three. Toda esta semana tenemos que desarrollar la section three. Y al mismo tiempo vamos a terminar esta semana. I hope, espero, que para el día jueves podamos finalizar la, el midterm exam, right? Which is gonna be pretty easy. Let me check. Carlos, do you have a question? O se le encendió el micrófono. Uh, no, teacher. No, I have a question. Okay, excellent. Me just mute over there. All right, everybody. Let me check. How are you, uh, William Livorio? Hola, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And you, sir? Excuse me. I'm good. And you? Yo soy bien. ¿Y usted? Good. Fine. Fine. Excellent. Very good. Let me check. El Salvador. Marta Argueta. Marta, you only wrote down the country, right? Usted ha puesto el, el país. So let me check. Marta Argueta, please. How are you, Marta? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. All right, everybody. I was just checking. Because we always start, the, we start right off the bat, right? But today I wanted to take maybe one minute just to know how are you? We are in class number six. So welcome to your English class. Let's check. Do you remember my friends? Today we're going to still be working with the vocabulary from jobs, activities, all right? Todavía vamos a trabajar ahora con el vocabulario de jobs and activities, all right? Porque ese vocabulary tenemos que perfeccionarlo, right? Basic. So let's check. Um, here we go. Antes de pasar a eso, solo quiero ver si recordamos o alcanzamos a copiar algunos de los que vimos ayer. Do you remember? Mention at least three jobs that you learned last class. So do I have any volunteer? Tengo algún voluntario? Uh -huh. Excellent. Let's go with Damaris. Uh -huh, Damaris? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I remember a pilot 
a nurse, a doctor, a police officer, a lawyer, and that. Very good, Damaris, excellent. Let's go with Eva Argueta, please. Cashier. Cashier, exactly. Security guard, nurse, doctor, Excellent. receptionist. Thank you. All right, there you have it. Those are just some of the jobs that you learned yesterday, all right? Jobs are professions. It's basically the same, all right? So let's move on. Let's get into the... Let's get into the business with the vocabulary, right? Let me check. Hoy les voy a ir anotando a todos los que participen en el vocabulary. Let me start with Daisy Carolina. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Cashier, cook, doctor, fly. Attendant, attendant, mm -hmm. shop, lawyer, music chan, nurse, mm, pilot, pilot, all, um, pilot, okay, uh, police office, res, este sí se me olvida, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Receptionist, 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 mm -hmm. sales person, um, Seguri, esta también me olvida cómo se pronuncia. Security guard. Security. Security guard. Guard. Mm -hmm. Security guard. Singer, waiter y waitress. Algo así. Waitress. Waitress. Excelente. Thank you, Daisy. Repeat after me. Sales person. Sailor person. Repeat sales. Sailor. Uh -huh. Sailor. Sales person person. Sailor person. Excellent, thank you. Let me check. Angel. Oh, sí. ah. Yes, now I hear it. <laughs> right. Very good. It's bien extraño, right? A veces como que se descodifica todo lo que utilizamos. Sí, tuve que cambiar a, uh, the headphones. Headphones. Exactly, sir. Don't worry, all right? Let me go with Jacqueline Campos. Good evening, Jacqueline. Good evening. Excellent. Hello, Jacqueline. teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you. Excellent, very good. I'm happy to hear that. Jacqueline, please give me the honors. Give me the vocabulary. Okay, cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fly attendant, just lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot. Police officer. Res, ay, este se me olvidó. Receptionist. Receptionist. Sales person. Security guard. Singer. Waiter. Waitress. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. You remember all of them. Excellent. Thank you. Go with Ana Maritza, please. Give me the vocabulary. Go. Hola, hola. Bye. Hello. Hi. Hello. Es Kashu, Coach Chef, Doctor, Fish Attender, House, Lawyer, Music, Nurse, Pilot, Police Office, Receptioning, Sales Person, Security One, Singer, One. Waitress. Waitress. Excellent. Thank you, Anna. Repeat after me. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Uh -huh. Salesperson. Salesperson. Excellent. Very good. Sales. Very good. All right, guys. Esa suena casi como si tuviéramos una I por ahí, right? Salesperson. Eh, si decimos salesperson, Eh, ni siquiera es una translation, right? So, por eso tenemos que practicarla como salesperson. Let's go with Angel Cano, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Okay, thank you, teacher. 
cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fly attendant, Josh, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. Solo un comentario. Uh, ayer con lo que estábamos hablando al final de la clase con respecto al a, a antes de uniform. Ajá. Es, es A según lo que yo leí después porque quedé, me quedé con la duda. Uh -huh. right. Cuando suena, cuando suena como eh, consonante es A. Cuando suena como vocal si sí se le pone an. Uh -huh. Exactly. Depende de, la, de, 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 de cómo suena. Depende de cómo suena, pero la escritura, la escritura influye bastante. Es lo mismo, right? Va sí, a sonar pero, casi como ajá. es escrito. Sí, porque yo lo estuve leyendo y supuestamente solo es, eh, en ese caso, como es uniform, suena como, como que fuera Y, como yo. Entonces okay. se le pone a no an. All right, excellent. Thank you, Angel. Very good. Now, listen, you guys. Actually, Angel, that's a good or tricky question, all right? Es algo tricky eso. <laughs> Así es la gramática del inglés, all right? Como para nosotros el español, que es kind of difficult. Pero lo que Angel dice, sí afecta un poco, all right? Por la pronunciation que tenemos, uniform. Claro está, gramaticalmente, por eso se los cambié ayer. Tenía el uh, uniform, right? Recuerdan, <clears throat> teníamos el uniform. Pero se los cambié. Porque gramaticalmente inicia con la U. Y las reglas gramaticales nos dicen de que si tenemos ese sonido de la PAU, no, perdón, si tenemos la escritura de la PAU, tenemos que cambiarlo. Ahora bien, también puede afectar lo que dice Angel. Suena como si tuviera Y. Entonces, no hay ningún problema si le dejamos la. All right? In theory, en teoría, you have two chances. Tenemos dos opciones, all right? Y ninguna de esas se vuelve problemática al momento de expresar lo que queremos. All right. Very good, Angel. No se quedó solo con eso. Buscó más información. Excellent. Sí, de eso se trata, everyone. La gramática es súper genial y es bien bonita, pero comprenderla como debe de ser, right? Claro está, como nosotros no somos native speakers, siempre van a haber algunos eh, misunderstandings que podemos transferir cuando estamos hablando, right? ¿Cómo? Ya vamos a ver el, el día de ahora el do. All right? La contraction del do. No existe una contracción escrita, pero sí existe una hablada. All right? You'll see. Now, let's move on, everybody. Let's go with Carlos Antonio. Tell me the, the vocabulary, Carlos, please. Thank you. Cashier, food, chef, doctor, flyer, attender. Youth, lounger, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, sales person, security ward, singer, Walter, Waltris. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Very good. Now, okay. let's check this one, everybody. Let's pay attention to this one. Security guard o security guard. Eso depende de la intonación que le querramos dar a esta. Security. Es como el nombre Elizabeth. All right? ¿Ya han visto ustedes el nombre Elizabeth? Lleva a TH, right? Pero muchas personas le dicen Elizabeth. Así. Native speakers dicen Elizabeth. All right? Elizabeth. Okay. All right? <laughs> Thank you, Carlos. Eso no era para usted, Carlos. Es para todos, all right? Para todos en el conjunto. Let's gracias, check. gracias. Tenemos security guard o security guard. You decide. Entre más fuerte hagamos la intonation, más se nota nuestro salvadoreño, right? Pero si no, pueden hacerlo suavecito. It doesn't matter at the end. So let's check. Let me go with Alba Duarte, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Good evening. Good evening, Albita. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Action, Alba. Cashier. 
cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, sales person, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. That's correct, thank you. Let me go with another one, and this one is going to be the last one. William Liborio, please. Uh, cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Mm -hmm. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Now, everybody, is it clear the vocabulary? Hasta ahorita, ¿tenemos claro qué significa cada uno de este vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. William, do you have a question? Dejo el eh, micrófono. Eh, no, solamente literally. Sí, eso sí, no, 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 no recuerdo qué significa. Ay, excellent. Y el let me check. El I. Pilot. Mm, perdón, la L, sí. Ah, salesperson. Salesperson es un vendedor. All right. Ah, okay. Gracias. Todo lo relacionado a bienes raíces o alguien que está detrás de un escritorio vendiendo también se le reconoce como salesperson. All right. Let's move on. Excellent, everybody. If you have no questions, I'll move on. Let's check. Para este día, como vamos a, trabajando, vamos a estar trabajando con el do, traje un pretty special gift for you. Traje un poquito más de, inform, no information, sino de practice para ustedes, right? Simple present, aunque es el más eh, sencillo a simple vista, a veces puede causarnos un poco de confusion, right? Entonces vamos a tener que practicar más con eso. Places. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, right? Where's a uniform, right? We have over there the grammatical structure. It's kind of confusing over here, but it doesn't matter. You can say where's a uniform or where's a uniform. It's okay. Cualquiera de dos, it's okay. As long as you transmit something, that's what matters. Sits all day, talks to people, works hard. Stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Ahora pregunto, antes de pedir otros volunteers, ¿tenemos alguna question en cuanto al significado del vocabulary? Now is your time. Ahora es un momento, right? Teacher, solo que eso también lo vimos ayer. Mm -hmm, exactly. Ah, okay. Yes, okay. yes. Solo que quería consultarles si tienen alguna duda o les generó, generó alguna duda cuando ustedes trabajaron en los exercises. Let's see, William. El, eh, me refiero, me el vocabulario. La última, write tickets. ¿Qué significa? Write tickets. Una persona que firma, sella o escribe tickets. Right? Eso es más común verlo en un, en un cinema. Right, in a cinema, in a movie theater, in a cine, the person, sí. antes de que usted entre a la sala, él le firma y le chequea los tickets. Right. Ah, no es la persona que lo emite, digamos, como cajera o cajero. No, porque ese ya sería un cashier. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm, exactly. Right, tickets. Todo aquel que firma algo o lo envía como un cheque, algo así, también puede ser un right tickets. All right, puede ser esa la activity que él ejerza. Let's see. Vamos a estar un poco. Si ustedes se fijaron en el, en el calendar that you have, que les enviaron a ustedes, esta semana tenemos que trabajar con toda la section three, all right, y el midterm exam. Entonces, la ventaja de eso es que es una sola sección para toda la semana, creo yo. 
Así que vamos a ir un poco despacio porque no quiero que quede ningún gap, ninguna duda ni un espacio en blanco. So, let's move on. Aquí solo voy a pedir unos three volunteers para que me digan el vocabulary. Let's go with Cecilia Rivas. Tell me the vocabulary, places, and activities, please. Good evening. Good evening, Cecilia. No, where's a uh, uniform sits all, all day? Talks, uh, talks to people, works hard, stand all day, perdón, stand all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you. Let me check. Um, Eva Argueta, please give me the vocabulary. And after Eva, luego de Eva, después de Eva, va Kenia Ayala. Places in a hospital, a young office, a young store, a young hotel. Activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, tells to people, works hard, stand all day, hands money, Words and I write tickets. Excellent, thank you. Just repeat after me, Eva. In a hospital. All right, esta pronunciation, everybody, no es el verb to be. Este es un preposition of place y la mencionamos como in. All right, así se menciona, la prepositions of place. Let's go with Kenya Ayala, please. Action. Good evening. Good evening, Kenya. Place. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, write tickets. Excellent, thank you. Now, everyone, let's move on to this one, guiding examples. You already know the guiding examples. Ayer se los mostré, all right? Y yo esperaría que quizás no esperaría, sino que imagino que algunos quizás ya tienen sus sentences hechas. Solo me confirman si ya tienen sus sentences hechas para pasarlos si chequear esas sentences. Mientras los que ya las tienen hechas van pasando, eh, los que quizás no las trabajaron pueden trabajarlas, right? Así se les llega su turno. Hoy sí, we got the time to check those sentences. Let's start. Do I have a volunteer? Hi, Angel. Excellent. Thank you. Ok. Eh, I am a driver in the finances minister. I don't wear a uniform. My wife is a teacher in a school. She teach all, she teach every day. Okay. And my, my sister is, um, esta palabra siempre me cuesta, um, manage Management assistant uh -huh. in her school. She talks to people every day. Bravo, Angel. You know what? You mix tenses. Make low tenses. Utilizó verb to be. Utilizó simple present. Yes. Clever. Clever, sir. Eso es una manera de continuar practicando ya el contenido que ustedes han aprendido, right? Very good. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Sí, cuando decimos eh, my wife is a chef, for example, ahí estamos utilizando el verb to be. She teaches. Ya vamos con el simple present, all right? Very good, excellent. Eso es un ejemplo que yo les estoy poniendo, right? No es la que Angel mencionó. Okay, let's go with another one. Do I have another volunteer? Tengo otro voluntario. All right, le pregunto por volunteers porque no sé quiénes las hicieron ya ayer. All right, Arnoldo, excelente Arnoldo, tell me. Okay. <clears throat> a doctor work, works in a hospital. A doctor wears a white uniform. A receptionist works in an office. A security guard works at night. Excellent. Very good, Arnoldo. There you have it. No mistakes. Okay. No hay ninguna correction. Okay. That's Let's, good. Thank you. 
Welcome, sir. Marta, and after Marta, Damaris. Okay, it's the primera. The police officer wears a uniform. A doctor works in a hospital at night. A nurse walks to people. Talks to people. Sí. Excellent, Marta, very good sentences. Very simple. Marta, ¿lo sintió difícil o fácil? Uh, easy. Easy, excellent, very good. That's the attitude. <laughs> Let me check. Let's go with Damaris. And after Damaris, Eva Argueta. Yes. A musician works in a hotel. A musician works at night. A singer works in a hotel. A singer works at night. A Josh works in a court. A Josh gives sentences. A lawyer works in an office. A lawyer talks to people. A salesperson works in a store. A salesperson wears a uniform. All right, excellent, Damaris. Those sentences are pretty good. Congratulations, no mistakes. Estamos muy bien. Inclusive utilizó other vocabulary, right? Excellent. Give sentences and stuff like that. Very good. Let's go with Eva Argueta, please. The lawyer has offices in the city. The musician play in the short, the doctor takes care of the of his patients. The last one? The, the doctor takes care uh -huh. of his patients. All right, very good. Thank you, Eva. Solo esa, Eva. The security, this, this, the security guard works at night. Excellent, Eva. Very good. I don't have any, any corrections to make, all right? So, está bien. Thank you, Eva. Let me check. Do I have another volunteer or alguien que ahorita quizás las logró hacer? Que me las quiera dar? Las sentences? This is practice for you, everybody, all right? In order for you to speak, you need to practice your writing. Excellent, Norma. Tell me. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. La acabo de hacer, a ver. <laughs> a ver si me sale. <laughs> My brother is a doctor. He works in a hospital. She is a nurse. A nurse works in Emerging, eh, como emergencia, emergencia, <laughs> emergencies. Uh -huh. My sister is a reception receptionist. She works in an office. She works, sits all day. Excellent, very good, Norma. Thank you. Si están bien, all right. No dudes that que estaban great. Excellent. Let's go with Jacqueline Campos, please. Okay, uh, a secretary works in a, in a, in a office. Mm -hmm. A secretary wears a uniform. Mm -hmm. An engineer works in a construction. An engineer does not wear a uniform. Very good, doesn't wear a uniform. Excellent, Jacqueline. Thank you. Very good. Now, you guys, let's check this up. Do teacher, I have another sorry. volunteer? Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Dice Carla Alemán en el chat del grupo que no puede, no logra ingresar. Por si alguien le puede ayudar. Mm, pero ¿por qué no podrá ingresar? Carlita, ah, oh, no, esta es Kenia y Ala. Los dos comienzan con Carla. Sí. Um, ok, let me check. All 
All right, guys. Sí, a veces saben, y cuando yo estoy aquí en el classroom con ustedes, casi no estoy pendiente de chat of WhatsApp, all right? WhatsApp chat. Gracias, Angel. Y también recuerden, porque sí ya he visto que a veces piden el link en el grupo de WhatsApp, y ustedes ya tienen el link, all right? A todos se lo han enviado a su correo, y si pues no se los han enviado, tienen que pedirlo en el corporativo, porque yo no les puedo enviar eso, all right? A mí no me es permitido enviarles por WhatsApp el link ni nada de eso, ¿ok? Teacher. Yes, tal Carlos. Vez, tal vez como ayuda, este, lo que pasa es que a veces eh, nos, nos hemos, eh, hemos ingresado en una laptop o en una eh, computer de, de personal. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando tratamos de ingresar en el teléfono, tenemos que volver a inscribirnos con el, con el nombre y el correo, así me pasó ahora a mí, porque yo estoy ahorita conectado desde el teléfono, porque no estoy en mi casa, y tuve que volver a ingresar con mi nombre y mi, y mi, y mi correo. Ah, ok, maybe could be that. Y también recuerden, saben, un tip, un quick tip aquí, sin alargarme mucho. Yo tengo conectado, a veces pasa por el internet, no nos eh, levanta muy bien la connection, right entonces, al menos yo lo que me tocó hacer, porque no, ya una vez, el año pasado se me había caído la clase, yo so, compré un cable de internet directo y lo conecté a la caja de internet directo. Y obviamente todo se concentra más que todo en, en lo que yo estoy haciendo en la computer, right Así que eso también puede funcionar. A veces por eso no logran conectarse a la clase porque no levanta muy bien el internet. Y es normal, a todos nos pasa. All right, guys. I don't have anyone else. Ya no tengo a nadie más que quiera pasar. O es que no las hicieron. <laughs> en todo caso, si no las hicieron, it worries me, all right? Me puede preocupar un poquito. Uh -huh. Nobody else. All right. Si a medida avanzamos y les dan ganas de decírmelas, you can do it, all right? Let's go. Pronunciation. Reduction of do. And does. All right, guys. No tengan miedo de no querer compartir sus sentences porque les pueden salir mal. Mi propósito es poder brindarles ayuda, right? Y tengo que saber si vamos comprendiendo bien esos temas. Reduction of do and does. ¿Qué sucede con eso? Hay dos cuestiones. El native speaker habla rápido, right? O una persona que tiene muchísimo contacto con el idioma desde hace muchos años habla rápido. All right. Pero aquí se genera una contraction. Y no hay ninguna contraction, teacher. All right. Ya sabemos que las contractions son isn't, aren't, y pueden existir en otros tiempos gramaticales. Se le llama contraction porque suenan unidas. Gramaticalmente jamás vayan a poner un do unido con un you. Right. No puede, no existe, no existe esa contraction gramaticalmente hablando. Solo existe en el speaking. La ejercemos, lo hacemos, right? For example, where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? Where does he work? Where does he work? What does he do? What does he do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? Nota, what do they do? Uní el do con el day. En todo ese unido el subject, perdón, el do, el auxiliary do con el subject, all right? Si no, no sale así, a veces inclusive sale que se une un poco el what o la wh word con el do, all right? For example, what do you do? What do you do, all right? Ahí suena un poco unido el what con el do, pero en todo, en todo caso, la reduction que se hace es entre el do y el you. Let me check. Oh, creo que alguien tiene el micrófono open. Tal vez. Si esto les genera dudas, me avisan, ¿no? Right? Aunque ya van a practicar ustedes, porque esto es de practice. Volviendo a esto, esto no es escrito, la reduction que ustedes van a hacer. En ningún momento. En un essay, en algo formal, no lo podemos hacer. Pero cuando ya estamos hablando y estamos con ese fluency, ¿no? Right? Ya tenemos que utilizar esa reduction. Practice time. Let's check. Tenemos unas questions over here. Y luego a la par tenemos estas mismas questions. 
unidas con el do you. All right? For example, ¿qué vamos a hacer para practicar, teacher? Let's check. Where do you work? Primero me van a decir la versión lenta, all right? Y luego me van a decir la versión eh, reducida. Where do you work? Where do you work? All right? Solamente es de darle un poquito de rapidez ahí. All right? No es, es, es a rocket science. No es mucha ciencia. Sí, nos puede costar un poquito, pero push yourself, all right? Hay que presionarnos un poquito. So let's check. ¿Necesitan que lo haga yo primero? ¿O you think you can handle it? ¿O creen que ya pueden manejarlo solos? Así empiezo a pedir volunteers. O a escoger personas. I think that's a yes for me, right? Creo que ese es un yes para que yo lo haga. Ok. Sí. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where, ah, oh, it's the same. La primera y la segunda son la misma, right? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? All right, let's check. ¿Por qué es necesario que lo conozcan y practiquen con esto? Porque así no les va a costar cuando escuchen a alguien. All right, so let's check. Let me start with... Um, Ceci Hernández, please tell me. Low version and short version. All right, Ceci, are you there? If I don't have Ceci, do I have another volunteer? Uh -huh. Excellent, Jose Garcia, thank you. Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they do they work? Mm -hmm. What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What they do? What do they do? Exactly. That's correct, sir. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Now you see, guys, it wasn't so difficult. Ya ven, solo, you need to break the ice. Solo necesitamos romper ese hielo de tenerle un poco de miedo a que nos podamos equivocar. It doesn't matter, you're learning. No hay ningún problema si nos equivocamos, estaban aprendiendo, all right? So there's no problem. Let me check. I'm going to choose somebody else. Let's go with Arnoldo Castellón, please. Okay. <clears throat> Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh, where does <laughs> Where does he work? Where Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? Where does he do? What does he do? What what does he do? What do they do? Why do they do? Creo que ahí termina ya. Excellent. Yes, sir. Thank you, Arnoldo. Very good. Now you see, you break the eyes. Excellent, sir. Okay. <laughs> All right, ya puede descansar, all right? You can calm down. Ahora ya se puede tranquilizar. <laughs> Let me go with... Ay, 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 let's check. I need a woman. Nancy Gutierrez, please. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do... They work. 
What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do do they do? Do they do? Do they do? Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Nancy. Very good. You're practicing. Let me go with everybody in this part, right? This is para todos. Let's check this up one more time. Aquí voy to know. Where do you work? Aquí es donde no hacemos pausa, all right? En la primera sección pueden hacer toda la, la pausa que necesiten, pero ya en la second section, that's when you don't do the pause. Where do you work? Where does she do? No, where does he do? Where does he work? Where do they work? What do they do? What does he do? What do they do? Teacher, it's difficult. I know. <laughs> I know, right? Eso se aprende con la práctica y por eso es que estamos aprovechando ahorita que practiquen. Let's go with Angel Tan. And after Angel, Ceci Hernández. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? En la misma, se repite. Sí. The first one with the second one. <laughs> Hasta ahorita lo vi. Where does, where does he work? Where does he work? Where do, the, where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent. That's correct. Now you see everybody. We got the rhythm. Ya tenemos el ritmo. Excellent. Thank you, Angel. Right? El rhythm. Así lo llamamos, right? Este es un rhythm, básicamente. Mm -hmm. ¿Ah? You're welcome. Thanks to you. <laughs> All right, don't worry. All right, everyone. ¿Por qué le decimos rhythm? Rhythm. Ritmo. Porque si se fijan, al principio vamos lento y luego ya van so much faster, right? De eso se trata. Se siente la adrenalina. <laughs> Let me go with... Um, Yami Rajo, would you like to try, Yami? Good evening, everybody. Sorry. Yami, usted va a ir después de Ceci Hernández. I'm sorry. Good evening. De acuerdo. Sorry, teacher. Um, tuve problemas con la conexión. Ah, all right. Don't worry, Ceci. Me imaginé, porque usted siempre quiere practicar, all right? Excellent. Gracias. Uh, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where, where do you work? Where does he work? Where that, where does he work? Where they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? Uh, what do they do? What do, what do they do? Very good. Hasta yo me pongo nerviosa por ustedes, guys. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good. You've been practicing. I noticed that. <laughs> Let me go with, ahora sí, Yami, please. All right. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent. Very good, Jolly. Thank you. Proud of you. Excellent. Let's go with my other friend, Jacqueline Campos. Please. Okay. Tengo un poco de problema con la lengua. No se preocupe. Yo también con la aire, Jacqueline. All right. Yo también con la aire. No se preocupe. Where, where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? That's correct. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Jacqueline. Tengo, no, tengo un problema para hacer rápido. 
el, el lenguaje es ese. No se preocupe, ¿sabe? A todos nos, nos pasa cuando estamos adquiriendo este tema, right Lo bonito es que ustedes rompan ese hielo, esa barrera y lo hagan, right Que lo hagan, porque si pierden uno la pena, dos, ya dicen, well, I do it by myself. Lo hice por, por mérito propio, right Y lo logré. Excellent. Very good. Now, let's move on, everybody. Si alguien más anima, we're going to continue practice with that. Simple present, WH questions, my friends. Let's check, he works in a hotel. Let me make this one bigger. Okay, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. <laughs> It's the conversation, everyone. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. <laughs> that's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. All right. Excellent. ¿Por qué es funny esta conversation, everyone? Una de las chicas, en este caso Rachel, no, Angela, está hablando de que su hermano trabaja en un hotel, en un hotel, right? Y trabaja detrás de un escritorio. He's an agent, es un agente. Y le dice que no le gusta mucho su empleo por su uh, manager, right? Por su jefe. Y luego le pregunta, ¿dónde trabaja tu hermano? Y también le dice, in a hotel. Ah, ok, great. ¿Y qué hace? Es interesante. ¿Qué hace? Le dice. Él es el manager, all right? Él es el jefe del hermano de la otra chica. So, nos enseña a no hablar mal de nadie, all right? Porque no sabemos si son familiares. Now, everyone, that's why so, it's so funny for me. Por eso es súper gracioso. Let's check. Ahora les toca a ustedes practicar. Let me go with William Liborio, because you haven't practiced, William, and I need you to practice. Okay, so you are going to be Regen and Norma Elizabeth, you are Angela. Action. Okay. Qué bonito el nombre que me tocó. Rachel <laughs> me dijo, ¿verdad? Yes, you're Rachel. Yes, you're Rachel. Okay. Uh, where, does you work, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent or agent. 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 He's a front desk agent. How does he like? Doesn't like the manager. Um, that's too bad, Norma. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. That's great. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. Más que ahí digo yo, el gran poder de Jesucristo me metí las patas. Jesus, exacto. Sí, yo creo que más de alguna vez no ha de haber pasado, right? Let me check. Um, Norma, repeat after me, actually. Sorry, teacher. Actually. actually. Actually, exactly. Right. Actually. Uh -huh. Y William, repeat after me, interesting. Interesting. Excellent, thank you, sir. Now, do de I hecho, have... De hecho, puedo volverlo a hacer con otra persona, o si la compañera me acompaña, lo podemos volver a hacer. All right, you're going to be Angela. Ahora usted va a ser Angela, William, y le voy a escoger a alguien más, right? Esa es trampa, entonces. Va, está bueno. It happens, now you see. It's, está bien, no hay problema. Let me check. Eh, José García, would you like to be Rachel? ¿Le gustaría ser Rachel? <laughs> okay, teacher, no problem. Excellent, action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel to his a front desk agent. How does he like like? No, very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. 
What hotel does he work? La Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's in interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> that's correct. Thank you, oh. guys. Very good job. Y así es como se rompen las amistades, right? Let me check. Let's go with, do I have another volunteer? Tengo otro, otros voluntarios, all right? You decide. Okay, Marta Argueta, you are Rachel. Necesitamos un Angela. O una Angela. Let me check. Angel, action. <laughs> Así va a quedar mejor. <laughs> right, sir. Excellent. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from Dex Agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's so bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. Just like I say, un chiste viejo, but still, um, I get funny every time I say that. Let me check. Excellent, Martha and Angel. I don't have any corrections, all right? Let's go with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, you are Rachel. Usted va a ser Rachel. And let me check. Ceci Hernandez, you are Angela. Action. Okay. Um, where do Rachel work? Yes, you are where Rachel. Where is your brother? Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel. Two hands upon this agent. How does he like it? No, very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's so, that's too bad. What hotel does he work for? Oh, the place. That's funny. My brother works there. My brother, my brother oh. works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does it he do? Actually, he's the manager. That's correct, my friends. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> oh no. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, help us. Excellent. Very good, Jacqueline and Ceci. No mistakes, no corrections. We got that fluent. Fluency. Now, everybody, for Thank tomorrow's you. class. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. All right. Para la clase de mañana, los que no pasaron ahora van a pasar, right? Solo voy a mover un poquito a esta parte. Simple present WH questions. Ese va a ser un warming up para mañana. Los que no pasaron, ese va a ser su calentamiento, right? Comenzar con esta conversation. Para ver que no hayamos olvidado cómo hacer esas preguntas con WH. Y utilizando el auxiliar. Ok, where, where do you work? In a hospital. Where does he work? In a hotel. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do you do? I'm a doctor. What does he do? He's a student. No, he's a manager. What do they do? They are waitress. How do you like it? I really like it. How does he like it? It's okay. How do they like it? They hate it, right? ¿Saben qué significa hate? No. Odiar. No odio. No odio. Odiar. Hate en sí es odiar. Pero ya cuando ustedes dicen they hate it, ellos lo odian, all right? O lo odian. Excellent. Very good. Now, let me check. I'm, I'm going to have some pairs. Let's see. Damaris Vega, you ask. Usted pregunta, Damaris, las primeras tres sentences in the road, en estas líneas, las primeras tres. 
las primeras tres preguntas, right? No son sentences. Y Kenia Ayala, you answer. Usted la responde. The first three. Okay. Where do you work? In a hospital. Where does he work? In a hotel. Where do they work? In a restaurant. That's great. Excellent. Thank you. Cecilia Rivas, the second row, please. La segunda parte en las tres questions. Y Ana Maritza, you answer. Usted mm -hmm. responde. Action. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I am... What does he do? The, he is manager. What do they do? They are okay. waiters. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Let's go with Arnoldo Castellón, third row, la última fila. Usted pregunta and okay. Usted contesta. Action. How do you like it? I really like it. How does he like it? It's okay. How do you they like it? How do you they like it? La última, William. Uh, they had they, they had it. Uh -huh. okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. All right, everyone. Let's check this one. Recuerdan? Thank you, boys. Muchas gracias. Okay, thanks. Let me check, guys. Hagamos un chequeo por aquí. All right? Recuerdan ustedes que el, de las primeras clases que yo les que vimos, yo les decía que las WH questions también se les conoce como information questions. Aquí esto es un claro ejemplo de por qué se le conoce como information questions. Porque preguntamos cosas más específicas, right? Entonces tenemos que brindar más información. No vamos a decir yes, no, right? No, estas no, estas no pro, nos prohíben que nos quedemos solo con una palabra, right? Tenemos que dar un poquito más de información. Do you have a question, William? Yes. Eh, ¿Qué significa how do you like it? Um, let me check. How do you like it? La primera te... columna, la última. Ajá, exacto. How do you like it? ¿Qué tanto te gusta o...? No, gusta? La, no la primera. De esa al fila. ¿De esta? La ah, esa, like correcto. Lo mismo. Eh, how do you like it? ¿Qué tanto te gusta? ¿Qué tanto te gusta? Es, all right? Porque utiliza el how. All right? Y la respuesta utiliza really. Esto es como más amplio. ¿Qué tanto te gusta? Very good. Now, guys, before I leave, right? Porque ya es mi momento de partir. <laughs> you guys, <coughs> I just want to tell you something. Please work on the platform. Trabajemos en esa platform. Si necesitan ayudas, eh, ayuda, ya saben dónde pedirla, right? Um, Jacqueline, do you have a question? ¿Tiene una pregunta, Jacqueline? Repeat. Let's check. No, no, se me olvidó bajar la mano. Lo siento. Okay, excellent. All right, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Bye. Good night, Bye. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night.